In this video, I'll show you an IELTS Academic Writing Task 2, Band 9 writing tip that will uh, improve your score instantly if done correctly. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dori. I'm a teacher of English and in this video I want to show you an advanced syntactical structure that will help you very much improve your score if you do it correctly and uh, use it in your essay. Before we start, let me just uh, say that I want you to know that no single tip uh, or secret or whatever can give you a band 8 or 9 in academic writing task 2. The only thing that can do that is your level of English along with other factors concerning the organization of your essay as a whole. So, um, whoever tells you that um, if you use a trick or a tip or something yeah, you're gonna get a 9 or an 8 in academic writing task 2 is lying to you. So I don't want to tell you that, I just want to tell you that if you use this secret, then, uh, this syntactical structure that I'm going to share with you right now it, and you do it correctly, it will definitely improve the score that you already have. If your level of English, on the other hand, is for an 8 or a 9, and um, the organization of your essay, the coherence and its cohesion is very good. It is for an 8 or a 9, or a nine. you use academic um, advanced topic related vocabulary, then of course you will get an 8 or a 9 and uh, the tip that I'm going to tell you is going to help with that. Now, the secret syntactical structure that I want to share with you is called inversion. Some of you may have already heard of it uh, and already use it, that will be very, very good. Some of you may have never heard of it, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Let me just brief briefly say that it is an advanced syntactical structure that with certain phrases that are used for emphasis, the structure of a sentence reminds one of a question, but it's not a question. So let's go and have a look at these examples and see how we can transform a common sentence into a more advanced one by using inversion. So here are some common uh, phrases first and how we can change them to inversion. So let's read them together. The elderly shouldn't be treated disrespectfully. This is a sentence you might as well write in a writing task 2 exam. So here is how we can make it a little bit more advanced, a little bit more academic by using inversion. So when you use this phrase at the beginning of a sentence under no circumstances, uh, then you, the, the structure that follows should be like a question. That's why we call it uh, inversion. But of course, it's not a question. It is used for emphasis. That's why we don't use any question marks. So this sentence will become under no circumstances should the elderly be treated disrespectfully. And instantly, this uh, common sentence became much more interesting, much more advanced with inversion. Let's, uh, of course, uh, there are many more, not only under no circumstances. In these examples that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some of um, the words that you can, uh, you can use to form inversion. So let's go to the next one. On no account. You can also use on no account at the beginning of the sentence. And again, like a question, on no account should the elderly be treated uh, disrespectfully. Uh, let's go and see another phrase. People don't realize how vital exercise is for their health. Again, another sentence you could have written in an academic writing test too. Um, uh, task. So how can we transform this? with little do. If you start a sentence with little do or little did, depending on the tense that you use, again, uh, you have to uh, move on with inversion. So, little do people realize how vital exercise is for their health. Uh, another uh, example, people should not expect the government to keep the beaches clean if they do not help as well. Another argument that you could use. Uh, let's see. If you start the sentence with not until, 
uh, another way of inversion, you have to form the inversion, the question, to the second part of the sentence. I wanted to give you an example with this one as well. So, not until people help to keep the beaches clean should they expect the government to do it. Okay? Let's have another example. The latest juvenile crime figures are so great that the state is alarmed. Such are the latest juvenile crime figures that the government is alarmed. You can also do it with such are. So let's recap. There are more phrases you can use to form inversion. I have chosen here a mix of the different types. Um, and you can choose the ones you feel a little bit more comfortable, practice using them and then implement them in your essay uh, and it will greatly improve your score. So we have under no circumstances, on no account, little do, oops I'm sorry, little do, not until and in this case the inversion should be done in the second part of the sentence and lastly such are okay inversion may sound weird uh first a little bit but once you get the hang of it it will you will understand that it really isn't a big deal i definitely recommend using inversion in your speaking as well especially in part three uh please do practice speaking and uh, expressing yourself by using uh, inversion uh in your speaking because this will definitely skyrocket your speaking uh score Okay, that was it for today. I really do hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And do check out the description box below for more links to other useful videos, to my website, uh, to my number one recommendation for, us, for an online self-study IELTS course that I find it's one of the best because many of my students have, got great, have had great success with it. Um, and uh, they improved their score instant, almost instantly. So check the description box below for these useful links. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your exam.